Well, let's bring you our joint news agenda for today. And the failure of authorities to properly manage a landfill site at Sherigo in the Bolga municipality of the Upper East region is said to be causing a stir as community leaders and members there complain that plastic waste materials and other poisonous substances from the site are apparently leaching but also spreading to nearby farms. Well, residents say one person has so far died after drowning in an uncovered pit within the landfill site and many of their livestock have also died from consuming poisonous substances leaching from the site. Well, Apa East Regional Correspondent Albert Sorry went there and has filed this report. Johnson Ayamga is assemblyman for Kumbengo, the community here at Shirigu where this landfill site is situated. He has been in office for only two years, and like his predecessors, the poor management of this dump site is a major headache for him as a leader. This land was acquired in the, in the late 90s by the NDC regime. But this work actually started somewhere in 2001, 2002, thereabout. Uh, you can see it for yourself. Even though it was fenced, but the way we look at things, in fact, it's not properly fenced. See that when it's rainy season, you know, the rain, it rains and then the water, you know, goes all over the, you know, to the water, the rivers or the valleys. So it's near the water is being what contaminated. And it's not good for human consumption. It's not also good for what animal consumption. Past and present governments have failed to properly manage this landfill site. More than half of the wire fencing around the site has broken down and there is no security guard stationed here. Therefore, people and animals gain easy access to the place. The residents here say, during the rainy seasons, human excreta is often discharged into this pit located within the landfill and this has serious implications considering how open the place is. Uh, when is dry season? Like we're in April now, they don't bring feces here. But when it's June there about, when the rain sets in, then they bring it. And when they pour it, and then it rains, the whole place gets flooded. And if you get, uh, if you don't take time, then you fall on it, then it will be a death trap. So I remember not long or that ago, somewhere last year, the rainy season, the mom, uh, a brother unfortunately lost his life in an attempt. You know, he just fell into the medicine, the feces and died. The landfill site is far away from homes within this community, but all around it are farms belonging to community members. Polythene bags and other plastic waste materials from the landfill site have now spread to some of the farms. Spokesperson for the Sirigu chief, Nso Apasnaba, told Joy News, these plastic wastes have adverse effects on their farms and livestock. All the water here runs down there, and the farms around make use of it. When a sheep or a goat dies in this community and you cut it open, you will find rubbers in the stomach. The animals come here and chew the polythene bags that sometimes contain food. And since their stomachs cannot digest the rubber, the animals fall sick. And even when you call the veterinary, the animals eventually die, he says. Nelson Apasinaba is a community environment protection volunteer here at Shirigo. He says, he and his colleagues have had a difficult time keeping children of the community away from this damp site. He also recounts, just like the assemblyman said earlier, how a young man in this area died last year after he fell into the pit dug on the landfill, ostensibly so that human excreta can always be discharged into it during the rainy seasons. If it were to be in the rainy season, we see that here it's normally full of water. And then if they are roaming around and mistakenly they fell in, they are like to, likely to die. Like recently, one of my brother died here in this pit. He died, he fell inside the uh, toilet and then died. So these are some of the things. Even, you know, the 
uh, metals. You know, mostly the children, they don't wear stand standards before they come. So mostly they get uh, uh, source and water fuel out of the room. Yeah. Johnson Ayamga, the assemblyman, says he has in the past suggested to the Bolgatanga Municipal Assembly ways by which this landfill site can be properly managed. But for almost two years now, nothing has been done. Yeah, we spoke uh, at the assembly level and I told them that uh, look at the way the refuse dump is. It needs a better construction. That, that means a, a, a wall, not just a, a fence, but a wall that uh, can get what, a locker to it. So at any time a vehicle comes, they can then open and pour a distance. That's when it's happened that way, you see the, the refuse cannot what, blow out. So we're up to date. Nothing has been happened. One thing is very clear, what they want the Bolgatanga Municipal Assembly and for that matter government to do is to see how they can properly manage this place, uh, perhaps clear all the refuse that is already outside of the fence and on people's farms and also to construct a fence, a wall fence actually, to replace the wire fence that is here so that people don't get access to this dumping site and that the, the refuse from here doesn't go back into the community. Albert Sorry, Joy News, Sirigu.